tonight the horror and, ca and chaos and the sadness over what has played out in our nation's capital. Images not seen in modern American history. A mob storming Capitol Hill, the Capitol building under siege. Trump supporters fueled by the president's own words this morning, smashing through the doors of the U.S. Capitol. Thousands breaching barricades, overwhelming police. All of this as a joint session of Congress was trying to certify President-elect Joe Biden's victory amid growing pressure from President Trump on Vice President Mike Pence, what Pence could be heard saying before being whisked away by the Secret Service. Pence then issuing this statement, the violence and destruction taking place at the U.S. Capitol must stop, and it must stop now. The mob pounding on doors, smashing windows, the armed standoff inside the building. Police there with guns drawn, trying to hold them back. Members of Congress diving to the floor. A woman shot on Capitol grounds the images tonight as she is loaded into an ambulance. Rioters making it onto the Senate floor, all the way to the seat of the Senate president. Another seen sitting behind House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's desk. Republicans and Democrats alike all day calling on the president to urge his supporters to stop after the president told them to march to Capitol Hill. Tonight, the emergency curfew now in effect in Washington, D.C. The entire D.C. National Guard now activated. Troops coming in from Maryland and Virginia. Tear gas deployed late today. Tonight, as authorities try to secure the Capitol, the tough questions already coming in. How was this allowed to happen in the first place, with President Trump for weeks now calling for protests? And after those repeated pleas today to do something, the president late today releasing a one-minute video, falsely claiming again that he won in a landslide before then telling supporters to go home. President-elect Joe Biden tonight offering sobering words, saying this was not a protest, this is an insurrection, saying I'm saddened America has come to such a dark moment, saying today this will serve as a reminder that democracy is fragile, but that America will endure. Our entire team standing by a special edition of World News Tonight begins now. From ABC News World Headquarters in New York, this is World News Tonight with David Muir. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight on this very difficult day in America. It is hard to put into words what exactly we witnessed today. From ABC News World Headquarters in New York, this is World News Tonight. With David Muir. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight on this very difficult day in America. It is hard to put into words what exactly we witnessed today because we've not seen this before. Thousands.